Hi, I'm Al, and in this episode of Quick Flicks, I'm going to just cover the basics about differentials. First thing I want to do is explain to you how a differential plays a role in your everyday driving. Now the differential resides in the, v in the axle that drives the vehicle. So if you have a front wheel drive car, it's going to reside in the front axle. If you have a four wheel drive SUV or truck, it's going to reside in both the front and rear axle. And obviously a rear wheel drive car, it's going to reside in the rear axle. This is how it works. Let's say you're traveling down the road and you're just going straight. Both tires and axles are going to rotate the same speed from, the, from this starting point to this ending point. Now let's say your buddy tells you to take a left at the tree. That's where it gets complicated and that's where the differential comes into play. What happens is that as your outside tire turns, it's going to travel a greater distance than the inside tire is as you turn. So what's going to need to happen is the outside tire needs to speed up and the inside tire needs to slow down so that way they can both start and end at the same point. Now there's three traditional types of differentials out there. The first type that I'm going to talk about is called an open differential. One of the benefits to an open differential is that it's lightweight and really easy to maintain. However, one of the drawbacks to an open differential is that when you're going, let's say, through a mud pit and one of the wheels obviously is slipping, that wheel that has the least resistance is going to receive all of the torque from the engine. The wheel that grips is not going to receive any torque. The open differential always goes with the path of least resistance. The next type of differential I have here is a limited slip differential. Now this differential, when in consistent motion, acts very much like an open differential in regards to it sends torque to both tires as they rotate together. However, when slip is detected, it allows the tire to slip to continue to slip, but the tire that is gripping it sends torque to that tire, whereas an open differential wouldn't send any torque to that tire. So the way that this happens is through the combination of springs and clutches. It is able to send torque to that tire that grips, allowing you to make that turn or make it through that mud pit. The last set of differentials I have here is a locking differential. Now the way that this differential works is that it locks the axles to rotate in unison up until the point that slip is needed. So let's say you're making a turn. The, the differential detects that slip is needed. It allows the tire on the inside to rotate at a slower rate than the tire on the outside. This way, the tires, the axle shafts, as well as the differential components are not damaged while you're making that turn. Now there's three different types that I have here. I have the traditional mechanical locker, and it uses springs as well as a pin to detect slip and unlock when needed. Companies now have come up with new ways to make this happen. They have air lockers as well as electronic lockers. The air lockers uses compressed air to lock and unlock the differential and electronic uses a solenoid. These are great for people who take their vehicles off-road that want to have a full-time locking differential while they're off-roading and then when they start to go home, once they hit the road, they can go ahead and unlock that differential. Now the last component I have here today, some people consider it a differential, some people don't, but it's called a spool. Now a spool locks both axle shafts together so they rotate at the same speed all of the time. It allows both tires to receive all of the torque from the engine. Now this is great for drag racers, it allows them to go and get a nice straight launch every time. They don't have to worry about any wheels slipping at the starting line. This is horrible for people that are trying to use this on the street because it ends up chewing up tires, potentially ruining drive shafts and axle shafts, as well as ruining other driveline components. Now, if you have any other questions about differentials or any other driveline components, please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos, and watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.